fuck is that? Hello and welcome to today's GTA Online video. We are going to be discussing two of the new cars that have been released with the summer special update, being the Tigon and the D10. Now I know I've done uh, reviews on the well road tests on these cars already, but I'm going to be letting you guys know how they perform in a stunt race with other players. Now to do this I actually did a stunt race with each complete randoms had no idea I was testing them probably just thought I picked them because they're new and I might think they're better but I will say they are not better um, so we are gonna start with the Tigon so superclass speed wise it's okay Control, being traction, is not too bad. It does have better grip when going at a slower speed, which helps with them tight corners. However, faster speed, well, wider turns, not so great. It does have a tendency to spin or lose control quite slightly if you hit a bump in the road, um, being either the curbs or the apexes along the sides but performance wise it does handle pretty well speed against other vehicles unfortunately the two races I did for these cars I did have the type of players where they like to crash into one another because they don't want to race they just want to ruin everyone else's day so unfortunately I couldn't get a proper test but I did manage to get a decent enough run performance it does hold its own in the top with the leaders and everything however it is it's not a struggle to get up there but it doesn't have its it, it's not as quick as some other vehicles it's also I don't believe it's four -wheel drive so it doesn't have the four wheel grip for the accelerating um, the acceleration from a slow speed is kind of difficult um, which is why I would suggest the tactic of not using your brakes just slowing down slightly um, if you're gonna go around a corner if you can help it don't break um, but performance wise with this vehicle it is quite good now the D10 it's I'm gonna say it's got the speed um, however it's kind of difficult when it comes to the acceleration unlike the Italian GTO um, the acceleration is pretty high I mean well no unlike the GTO it's very low um, but unfortunately it has the speed but a bit like the um, Yosemite Rancher it's got the speed it just hasn't got the acceleration to be able to go around corners at a fast pace so it, it it takes a while for it to actually get up to speed um, and it also doesn't have the same suspension mechanics similar to the Italian GTO so with, when it comes to the tubes in races it doesn't gain a massive amount of speed it does struggle obviously you'll be seeing with the gameplay and everything but yeah it, I mean it will keep up on the straights but as soon as a turn comes then person in front is that they, they've gone as soon as as soon as you get to a turn you can't really get the speed back again or you can but it takes a while um, also regardless about having a spoiler on the back of this thing it's very tail happy it's like it hasn't even got one so you can go around corners pretty smoothly um, however as it gets to a certain point of the turn the uh, the back end just spins out just randomly like you could be able to complete straight like a, an actual like racetrack section no bumps and you go around a corner the back end will spin out so it's very tail happy regardless of the spoiler that you've got on it 
uh, hasn't got the acceleration even at the front with the boost on go it still can't accelerate as fast as the Italia GTO so at the moment I'd say for the sports the Pariah and Italia GTO are still top dogs um, I wouldn't even say that the D10 is a close third or something I'd say I mean I'm pretty sure the Issy Sport can beat it as well because that's got pretty good acceleration as well it's probably like sixth or seventh maybe um, but I think in a straight line speed it might be okay but I'm not too sure but I wouldn't be buying this vehicle for the chance of winning races because you're not you're not going to it doesn't matter how good of a driver you are it just hasn't got the acceleration to be able to catch up with any other vehicle really uh, but the Tigon depending on your driving if you're a good driver you can and as long as you haven't got the type of players that I had just crashing into everyone um, as long as you're a good driver you should be able to get up there in first um, luckily well not luckily depending on the type of results I was looking for I wasn't going against anyone with a Krieger so against a Krieger I'm not too sure but with the test that I did did pretty well with the Tigon um, but the D10, it's not a racer, it's it's more of a just a cruiser and a flashy car. So, hopefully that was helpful in some way for you. Leave a like if it was. Uh, leave a comment on what your thoughts are of these two cars, if you like them, what your favourite type of method is for driving them, if you have them for racing, if you have them for just cruising. And obviously, uh, if you do go on to continue and enjoy, then do not forget to subscribe along with clicking the notification bell to be notified on any future updates or videos. I unleash onto the channel, and I will see you all in the next one.